can your home, your primary residence, be rented out if you are on Medicaid? That's what we'll be discussing today. The answer to that question is yes. Uh, Medicaid has two exceptions that apply to real estate, which is you're allowed to have either a primary residence and on top of that or in lieu of, you're allowed to own a rental property. So you can take what was once your primary residence and if you're of course moving out because you're moving into perhaps an assisted living facility or a nursing facility, you can rent out the house because that can help you from that rent, you can deduct home ownership expenses, right? Paying property taxes and utilities and repairs that might be needed. And on top of that, you are allowed to benefit from that additional income. Now, it will count as income, so we might have to utilize a qualified income trust if that's what puts you over the income limit, but that's okay. That's a fairly uh, relatively minor hurdle to get over, but it does allow you to rent the house out. Now, the other issue that we have to be aware of is if you're renting out the house, it's no longer your homestead, which means it's no longer subject to homestead creditor protections and it's no longer subject to, meaning if that house goes through probate and it's not your homestead, that is the only exception to Medicaid having the ability to have their hand out and saying, we want to get paid back. Now, if it's a homestead, they don't have that right in the state of Florida, but if you're renting it out, again, you can no longer claim it as your homestead. So what we wanna think about doing, if we're gonna rent out the property or own any kind of rental property in the context of Medicaid planning is making sure that those properties avoid probate. And we do that using either a revocable living trust, we sometimes use LLCs, we sometimes use what's called a ladybird deed. These are all different tools and we you know, kind of make sense in different, different contexts and scenarios, but there are ways of a little bit having your cake and eating it too, where you can benefit from additional income, have the asset continue to be excluded as a resource when determining Medicaid eligibility to help pay for home care, ALF care, or, or nursing home care, and still after it passed away, be able to pass it wholly onto your heirs as your legacy. So if you're interested in learning more about renting the house out, selling the house, keeping the house, anything maintaining or achieving Medicaid eligibility in the state of Florida to get help paying for long-term care expenses either at home or in a facility, please give us a call, set up a consultation. We serve the entire state of Florida. Thank you very much for watching.